full of green peppers, so I decided it was time to make stuffed pepper soup. And I'm going to can it too, so come along. So here's the ingredients. You need two good sized green peppers, and they don't have to be fresh from your garden. You can use two pounds ground beef, but what I like is one pound mild Italian sausage and one pound ground beef. Especially when you can it, the sausage has more taste than the ground beef. Then you want eight cups of beef broth, and it can be your own, or in this case, store-bought. You want a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and I'm using a pint of my home can tomato sauce, but you can use a point, pint of bought tomato sauce, or you can use 14 and a half ounces, 15 ounces, whatever the can is of tomatoes, and make it that way. And you need one good size onion, two tablespoons salt, one tablespoon pepper, one fourth cup right here of brown sugar, two garlic cloves, and I like to add one tablespoon of this concentrated tomato paste, but you can use regular tomato paste too. And then you're going to need two cups of rice. Now I've got the green pepper all sliced up and the onions and garlic. And to do that, I use my Vidalia Chop Wizard, but you can use whatever you have. Um, for the green pepper, I use the smaller squares because my husband, again, is not a big fan of green pepper, so the smaller the better for him. And I use the larger one for the onion. Okay, so we're going to brown up our meat. We don't want this part, do we? Get it all? Yep. So I'll be back when it's about halfway brown, and we're going to add the onions and the peppers. Okay, it's starting to brown up some pink left yet, but now it's time to add your onion and your garlic. We'll be back when the onions are more brown. Make sure you're breaking up the meat so you don't have huge clumps. You can see the onions are starting to get a little translucent. Now it's time to add the green pepper. And at the same time, I add the salt and pepper. Cook a little longer. Doesn't that look good already? The meat, the pepper, the garlic, and the onions just kind of absorbed back the fat and the juice in the meat. And that's part of the secret to giving a good flavor to the broth. So now you want to add your eight cups of beef broth. Other two cups. Add in your brown sugar. And 
You now your tomato sauce came out fast. Stir it up here. Now we're just adding the tomato paste. Oops. Trying to get every last bit there. There we go. Now we're going to bring the soup to a boil. Oops, I forgot one thing. We need to have a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And that's one of the reasons it's good to have all your ingredients ready before you start so you don't forget something. So let's get this to a boil. Okay, we definitely have a boil here. Now I'm going to turn it down so it's just a simmer, just a very, very low boil. And we're going to be back when the broth reduces uh, by maybe an eighth. Probably about half hour, 45 minutes. See you then. It's been a half hour. And I think that's about right. It's looking good. You might want to do a taste test, see if it's spiced the way you like it. And now it's time to add your two cups cooked rice. And then maybe keep it heating up for another five minutes. And then I'll be ready to serve. And I'll show you right here the way the soup looks. Doesn't that look delicious? With the rice, it's really a filling supper. Great for cold weather. But i got to make it now because that's when the green peppers are ready in my garden which is why I canned it. And like I said, I canned it without the rice. But this is how it looks, and this is what I'm having for supper. Except I add a little Parmesan to the top. Doesn't that look good? So, I'm canning it, so I'm not adding the rice to this batch because you're not supposed to add rice when you can. And of course, I'm doing pressure canning but this should make some great soup, especially in the fall and the winter. And I'll just add the rice when I open the can. So this recipe canned up seven pints of soup. And once you open up a pint, you will just have to add a little more than one third of a cup of cooked rice and you have a great meal. So this is Prepper Potpourri. Thank you so much for watching. Please. Subscribe and share the knowledge and thumbs up if you like this video.